Y'all, I just thought of something I forgot. So, you know, I'm on vacation, so my mind, you know, is at that, is, you know, at the beach that I'm looking out of, and it's like 102 right now, The you know, the palm trees, no, that ain't really happening. I'm still stuck here in Dublin, Ohio. Mm -hmm. I'm asking about it for to go to Walmart and charge A right now because none of y'all bitches are help. I, I'm not bitter. I'm not. I understand. I'd be looking at my full ass too. I could have said, I think like we're going to send him money. I, so I get it. I understand. But it's my hope that the world goes back to that trusted place. We've lost that as human beings. I miss that. Or at least that's. It probably never really existed, but at least at one time, I felt like it did, and that matters. I think we can get back to that place again. So, bitches, the moral of that story, send me some money so I can have electricity in my phone, so I can still keep producing these videos for free, because none of y'all are paying for them. <coughs> but anyway, so, you know, like, I'm all in this healthy lifestyle, new me, you know, woke, uh, woke Brandon this year. So I'm trying to cut back on meat. I really don't eat any red meat anymore. Uh, I eat fish when I can afford it. Hint, hint, a gift card to Whole Foods would be not Kroger. You know, Walmart, I, I can shop healthy at Walmart too. All these even. But anyway, never mind, never mind that. But, um, so you know, I'm trying to cut back. So I haven't had really had any meat. I just had fish, shrimp, and uh, the plant-based products, which I'm really starting to really enjoy figuring out how to how to cook with those now. But <clears throat> my eggs that my scrambled eggs that I had to kind of get yourself if you're trying to stay away from meat or trying to wean yourself off from meat. I had went to your local little Indian like world markets. Those places look scary. On, I know, they look scary on the outside. But pay those people a visit. They're here trying to make a living for their families. And you will not believe the deals you can get on spices. And I bought these chickpeas there. Four pounds was like $3. If I went to Whole Foods and got them from, you know, the grain bin or whatever, it would cost me an arm and a leg. They have lentils there. They have different rices. Uh, right, that's where I got my new rice flour. It was like $2 something, a little bag for that. It's just they have all kinds of grains and unique uh, unique uh, items to use. Uh, so definitely check those people out. You can also get some really good... I can't, I can't afford it then, but they have some really good deals on really nice olive oils too. So it's worth stopping in those places that you think are scary. And just see. I mean, you know, you don't have ever had. I have walked in places like that and have just walked around because I have no money. But I'm looking for things that I want to buy, so I know where I can come back when I do have money. I'll go there to get those certain items. And so anyway, but I had bought these a whole bunch of fennel seeds in this bag, so I brought them out. This was like two fifty for this whole thing of fennel seeds, and they smell. I mean, they smell wonderful. So they smell like sausage. So it's like thinking to myself, you know, I'm trying to stay away from meat. I only use plant-based products. So in my scrambled eggs, uh, while they were cooking, when they kind of just almost got done and everything, I sprinkled, uh, I crushed a little bit of these in my hands and my fingers and sprinkled it on top of the eggs. And it gave me the sensation and the smells and the taste of actually having a piece of sausage. Because what makes a sausage a sausage, really any sausage, is there's fennel in it in some form or another. So it kind of tricks your mind into, hey, you're tasting sausage, but you don't miss the sausage. So it's just a little trick. I'm starting to pick up things like that. Because, you know, I told you yesterday I went by McDonald's and just got a plain hamburger and fries. So I couldn't hardly about it make myself eat it. It's like... There was absolutely no taste. Oh, there was a taste. It was grease. That was the taste and salt. The, the large Coke, uh, a year ago, I'd go there and I'd go fill up on a large Coke for like three or four times while I was there. They'd take one when I got in the car. Now I, I went there, got me a large Coke. Like, oh man, I deserve a reward. I was going to treat myself today. 
I couldn't hardly make myself get halfway through it. It was like, there was, it just tasted so sweet. And it, it was just, it was horrible. It's like, why did I even stop in here? It's just disappointing now. It's funny how your mind changes once you kind of do something over and over again. You kind of get used to it. It becomes normal. But anyway, I just thought I'd pass on that tip too. Like I said, I'm on vacation here in Dublin, Ohio. Stuck in my home. I feel like I'm a house arrest, but nobody's come and arrested me yet. So that's a good sign. But that's kind of what it feels like, you know. But anyway, I'll be back on tomorrow, okay? At some point in time. So, good night, y'all. Love y'all.